Speaking of teams lucky, just and happy just to be there. <laughs> CP the franchise. There he is. Yeah. Oh, looking very dapper today. You took the ridiculous Thank pocket you. square out. Thank you got a nice uh, collared shirt on and a and Ta- a, a Taylor nice Mead, Max. Taylor Mead. Taylor Mead. Taylor Mead. Very Blazers. good. That, that's I, how I we do. That's, that's how we do. That's it. CP the franchise. Everything's good. How's every little NBA analyst and Knicks fan TV? But CP, he's the, you know, Knicks crazy and everything. He's a very good NBA analyst. And CP, the Knicks um, drop the home game to a lower seed. They've lost home court. They've antagonized Trey Young. The Knicks fans have. Oh, it's looking bleak, isn't it, CP? It's looking bleak for the Knicks. Absolutely not looking bleak, Max. Max, it's a 4-5 matchup. Both teams finished the regular season with the same record, same home record, same away record, and same winning percentage. It's an evenly matched uh, matchup. It's an evenly matched matchup. We couldn't stop Trey Young worth the darn last night, um, or Sunday night, rather. Yeah. The pick and roll, he was dominant. The floaters were dropping all night. Uh, but we did not get an all-star effort from the most improved player, which is Julius Randle. That right. needs to be the difference tonight. I need Randle to take it up a notch, along with R.J. Barrett and Reggie Bullock, because once Randle takes it up another level, he helps that starting lineup with those two other wing players, and that gets us going. We had over 60 points from the bench. You can't expect that again in, in Game 2, although Alec Burch was outstanding. Derrick Rose was Derrick Rose, and Emmanuel quickly looked like a veteran out there in his first playoff debut. So you know something uh, tonight's a must win. You. Tonight's a I- must win. I, it's a must win, right? I hear you about yeah. quickly, and let's put it this way. I was not surprised quickly had that attitude. Were you? Like, there's some dudes you can smell it on. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, that dude's going to be fine. Quickly's one of those dudes, right? Yeah. Why isn't Randall? Why did Randall not? Sh- you see what I'm saying? It's important that your best player be the type of dude, not just that you root for and pull for and works hard, but is capable of showing up in the big moments. Is this something you're afraid of going forward? Was it just a blip on the radar? What do you think? I am because this is his first experience in the playoffs as well. More people at MSG. Let me tell you something, Max. Sunday night. MSG was rocking before mm. these guys even came out the tunnel. The nerves were there. The jitters were there. You can tell it, it shook throughout the whole starting lineup. So, yeah, it is a concern for Julius Randle because he is our guy for right now. And the jersey's getting heavier. The lights are getting brighter. So tonight, the spotlight's on him. And I just hope that, you know, all the good things that came into this season, all the good news that surrounded him doesn't go to waste by a, a lackluster playoff performance. You know, even Clyde called him out in the fourth quarter of uh, of Sunday night's game for just being re- very lackadaisical and not being sharp in his decision-making. He has to be on point. This is the playoffs. This is not the regular season. So it's time for Julius to assert himself at an all-star level and lead right. his team to victory tonight. You can't blame two. him for being confused. He's thinking, what are we doing in the playoffs? Also, <laughs> also, CP, I got to say, maybe he's worried if he hustles too hard and, and has too much success in the playoffs, Dolan will have him arrested. That's what he did to Oakley. <laughs> That's what he did the last time a power forward Myth. did that for the Myth. All right, look. Let me, I want, yeah. I need, I need are to are you to coming you tonight, by the way? Are, are you going to be in the building? Not, Stephen A. was in the building on Sunday. I was there. I was looking for you. Listen, CP, I'm not playing. When Dolan sells the team... I'll come back. I am not coming back until that man sells the team. I don't forget that stuff. He he had Charles Oakley thrown out and arrested. He has fans thrown out of the game who pay their hard-earned money on their birthday and stuff for just for wearing a T-shirt that says, Fire Dolan? Get over yourself, you Clout baby. chasers can hit the exits. I have, I have no I, cares for that guy. I was in the building Sunday. I'll be in the building tonight. I'm not getting thrown you know, out. I'll come back. I'll what, tell you, you what, know what. Here's another thing Dolan yeah. can do. He doesn't have to sell. If he if he wears a, a pamper, a diaper, to a press <laughs> conference with, and sucks his thumb and apologizes because he's such a baby, maybe I would consider coming back. All right, CP, I want to talk about yeah. uh, teams that matter because they have a chance at least, or at least we thought they did. Um, are the Clippers going to clip CP? Like, you know all about uh, uh, clown franchises, as you know, CP the franchise, Knicks fan TV. Are the Clippers going to clip? Yeah, they're out of there. They might get swept. Uh, yeah. As I told you a couple weeks ago, they don't have that dog in them. They, they're not closers, Max. Mm. They don't have that killer instinct. You saw that with Paul George last night. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard's going to do his thing. two-time MVP. Finals. Two-time finals MVP. Listen. Paul George. Paul George. Kawhi yeah. Leonard stepped up. Paul jo- yeah. uh, Kawhi yeah. Leonard stepped up. I'm 41 points George. last night. Yeah. Uh, the Rondo thing is looming large because they need a playmaker to get these guys going. But at the same time, Max, their defense is getting shredded. 
Luka Doncic has been absolutely outstanding out of the pick and roll. You trap him on the pick and roll, he's going to Hardaway Jr., who's been outstanding. You you put the big on him on the switch, he's blown right past him. Luka Doncic, 39.7 assists, 7 rebounds. They have no answer for him. He's out for revenge after they lost to this team 4-2 to two, uh, last year. Him and Marcus Morris got into it. Things got a bit chippy. And this Dallas Mavericks offense, this is a number one offense last year, the most efficient offense last year. And we're seeing that again this year in the playoffs. 42% from three last uh, in game one, 57% in game two. Uh, so they've been absolutely outstanding. I think the Clippers are going home early. Meantime, the Lakers, CP. They beat the Suns without LeBron or Schroeder toward the end of the year, just with AD behind his 42-15. and 15. Then they steal home court back by splitting on the road. Then CP3 has a bad shoulder, which means Book is going to have to play more on ball than ideally would be. I don't see this going seven. I, maybe it doesn't go six. I think the Lakers are going to advance. What's your, what's your read on that series? Yeah, so Devin Booker's going to have to call Paul George and they're going to have to get their travel plans together because they're both going fishing early. Um, this is three things that I liked about this game last night from the Lakers. Number one, they led with their defense. Got out the gates. They were in attack mode. They were aggressive. 15 transition points, fast break points in this game. 11 in the first half. Andre Drummond was, uh, was controlled the glass, dominant on the boards. You had a dominant performance by Anthony Davis, which is what I've been telling you is going to be the difference maker in this Lakers playoff run. He was dominant. He was in attack mode. He wasn't settling for jump shots and in the end even though the Suns came back with a flurry give credit to them they were down by 15 cut it to one with four minutes to go in that fourth quarter the superstars closed you had LeBron James and Anthony Davis account for 10 Lakers 10 straight Laker points to put this thing away and they led on both ends great job by Drummond great job by Schroeder by the way who's to me is going to be an X factor he came back to form and when this thing goes back to LA you can expect the seven, eight, and nine guys in that rotation, the the Kuzmas, the KCPs of the world, they'll have a better game. And without Chris Paul, I think this thing is going to be over maybe in six. Yeah, six or maybe even less than that. Um, yeah. And let me tell you something. You think being a Lakers fan is all fun and games, CP? When I traded him my Knicks card, one stolen, <laughs> just ran amok. That's right. Yeah. And I became a Lakers fan. Let me tell you how hard it is to be a Lakers fan. Okay, just to give you some perspective. I looked up Devin Booker's contract. Do you realize he's not an unrestricted free agent until 2024, at which point he'll be 27 years old? Do you know how long a Lakers fan like me has to wait for Booker to come to my team? It's another. It's years away still. It's not easy all the time, CP. It's not like being a Knicks fan where you have no expectations. You have no expectations. Whatever you get, you're happy. It's not easy being a Lakers fan like a Knicks fan. Well, who's not going to the Lakers? Booker? Devin Booker. We got we got Leon Rose. We got the CAA family here. I don't know if you saw when the Knicks played uh played Phoenix in, in the closing games of the season. You had World Wide West, Leon Rose, the whole family was together. Listen, if anything, he's coming to the Knicks. But listen, like you said, it's a long way away. I'll say this, Devin though, Booker is a superstar on the rise, yep. but yeah, he's he's got I'll a tall order about, ahead of him. I'll say this for what you're saying. Um yeah. New York has always been a very desirable market to play in. Yeah. Uh, one another reason I hate the Knicks so much is because they turned New York into a place no one wanted to play, right? But now I agree with you. Worldwide West, Leon Rose, these guys, you know, coach everybody has done such an, an outstanding job. This is like the twentieth regime Dolan's tried. He finally got one right, right? His luck. Um, but they've done such a good job that now it is a desirable market. Now, Lakers fans must view the Knicks as, oh, wait a minute. We really want this dude when he becomes a free agent. Yeah. Oh, maybe the, the Knicks are going to grab him. Like, it's, I can't just dismiss it. For years, that was, that was a joke. Like, Knicks fans always thought they were getting everyone. Believe me, I was one. I always thought, oh, we're going to get this guy. We never got anybody, so, uh, right? But it, that's a real thing now. That is a real thing. They can they they can yeah. compete for prime time players now. It seems to me, or at least in the near future, you got to be happy about that. Any parting thoughts, CP? Um, I am happy. You know, like I said, we're playing with house money. We still have the building blocks to build for the future. Four draft picks coming up in the upcoming draft. Plenty of salary cap to spend. Kawhi Leonard. Ditch the bomber, ditch those losers at the Clippers. Come to Broadway. Your mm. reputation will be on the rise, Kawhi Leonard. Trust yeah. and believe. We got dogs. Kawhi Leonard, Thibodeau is box office. And Max, uh, I'll be live from MSG, man. If you want to come on down, no, ask for CP good. the franchise at the gate. They'll let you right in. I'll, I'll be down there hosting <laughs> and, and live streaming pregame halftime and postgame live from MSG. So tune in. I would show up to talk to CP on CP's show, but all I can tell you is. 
The Knicks had a chance with Pat Riley years ago. Just give him a little piece of the team. He'd have stayed have just put. Just gave him the house. Everything the that happened to the Heat would have happened to the Knicks. Yeah. But, you know, Dolan, damn, we don't want to give it to this, this is Pat Riley. Okay, Dolan, now Dolan you get, wasn't there at that time. We, so no, yeah, it well, wasn't his father Dolan. Was. His father was. It was not Dolan. It was. It was Charles Dolan. Yeah, but I will Charles blame. Dolan. But Charles I will. Bl- but Charles Dolan at least like did some things. He 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 created his own fortune. He wasn't born on third base and thought he had a triple and he never <laughs> kicked Charles Oakley out of the garden and have him arrested. All right, CP the franchise, ladies and gentlemen, check him out on Knicks Fan TV. Outstanding NBA analyst. We're working on and, and getting him to the next chapter of his career. Now we're going to do something about the beard. We got rid of the pocket square. He, Best you know, dressed man in gonna, Bristol. We're going to get him, uh, get, get him yeah. an interview at Bristol or something he, like that. You're dressed like the Blake Griffin of media, as I've always <laughs> said. Carry <laughs> Thank on. Thank you, Continue. CP.